What's up, everyone? This is D Michael Left here, 1997. How are you guys doing? Uh, today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys some more gameplay footage of me playing some High Moon Warriors on some Wii U. Yeah, we playing as Young Link from the update and DLC pack that came out for uh, High Moon Warriors it's called Majora's Mask Pack. Obviously, uh, footage of me as Young Link, but today, I don't want to talk about the DLC or anything like that. Instead, I just want to talk about something. I just recently found out uh, a few uh, a week ago, like two weeks ago actually, and it kind of got pissed off about like how like the consoles are acting. So this is mostly my experience with the PS4. I think that the same thing with Xbox One. I don't have an Xbox One right now because it's with um, my brother. Um, but there's something about the, the next generation consoles that pisses me off. It's the fact that it's like it's always gonna be like this online console only type of thing. What am I talking about? Well, I'm trying to review Grim Fandango Remastered Edition on my PS4. Uh, I can't, I can't review it right now or like do it this week because I'm recovering from a sinus surgery and all, so nasal surgery, so I just can't do it. And my body's acting up, and my body's just saying no to it. So, back to the point, I am doing this. I'm playing Grim Fandango, we mastered it, I'm enjoying it. I'm having problems with it, like, it's, it's like, it, like, there's no hit system at all, but I enjoy the game. So, I actually go, wake up the next day, and, and I realize that PSN is not online. Like, the wi my Wi Fi is off, and I turn it on, it's like, oh, maintenance is going to maintenance. I'm like, oh, okay, fine, I don't need to play, like, Destiny or freaking Assassin's Creed co op multiplayer. I don't need to play any of that. I'm not going to play that. I'm going to play offline game, Griffin Dango. So, good old Griffin Dango. So, what happens is, I will go to the app, Griffin Dango, remastered, and I notice there's a little lock on it. And I think, what the hell is that lock? So, I click on it, and it says, Sorry, cannot verify license. I need online connection to verify the license. <sighs> God, see, that, that pissed me off big time, because. When I got downloadable games on my PS3, PS3, I downloaded The Walking Dead Season 1, Season 2, I downloaded Wolf of Us, I downloaded Crisis, I downloaded Crisis 2, Dead Space 2, multiple games on my PS3. I, I mean, my PS3 was kind of like a place for downloadable content as much as disc games as well. But the thing was, when I played on my PS3 and downloadable games, I didn't need to be online to play them. I, even for offline games. Why do I need to be online to play a game like Grim Freaking Fandango? Why? I, this, I thought it was just like with that game one, I thought there was like some issue with that certain title because it was like it just released. I said, okay, fine. Maybe it's acting up or like that. So I turn it off. I, 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 I go to bed basically. Or like, I go play my Wii U. And then I, earlier, I want to play Game of Thrones because I haven't played it yet. Like the first episode before episode 2 came out. I play it and like, uh, Wi Fi is still down for me. Um, for that some reason, um, and the maintenance is still happening. So okay, I go to Game of Thrones. It says, "Oh, still you cannot ver you cannot play the game because the license is not verified. You have to be online. To you have to be connected to the internet to play it. Why do I have to be connect connected to the internet to play a game I already bought? I bought the freaking game already. If I bought the game already, I don't need." To be connected to the internet to play the freaking game right offline. I mean, seriously. I mean, what if I, what if I take my PS4 and be on vacation, and I go to a place where there's no online connectivity at all, like there's no routers, there's no modems, no wireless services there. So then I want to play like my freaking games, like my Tales of the Borderlands or our uh, freaking Grand Theft Auto. I can't play it because. Because, 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 the fact that I'm not connected to the internet. Because I'm not connected to the internet, I can't play my freaking game that I bought. I bought the game. I didn't steal it. I didn't steal no game because I'm not no freaking smart hacker. I get a freaking PSN card. I get a freaking PSN card, 20 bucks. I paid for a freaking uh, season passes for Tales of the Borderlands, the Game of Thrones, and my freaking goddamn... Grim Fandango. I paid for it. If I paid for it, I don't need to be connected to the freaking internet to play my freaking game. When I, when I play my freaking iPad, I don't need to be connected to the internet to play Walking Dead Season 1 or Season 2 with Among Us. No! 
Because it knows I already bought it. If I bought it, it's mine. It's not yours to keep. It's not really with freaking like actual times. It's also in a beta. I, I played um, a little bit of the Battlefield Hardline beta, which is fine. Maybe I'm not the biggest fan of the beta. Biggest fan of the beta, but I play the beta, and I really the same thing. Like, I I'm not. I mean, I know it's an online beta at all, but seriously, you have to lock up a beta too. It's 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 freaking it's stupid at times. I mean, it's just horrible. I, uh, Things that back have a situation with because it's online betas, but seriously, I mean, why do I have to, for an offline connected game? It's stupid. It's stupid. Uh, so you got to go to Sony and maybe Microsoft as well for those who have the Xbox One and have the same issue. Like, if I bought an offline one-player game with my money and you don't let me play it, then we have a problem. We have a problem with that because if I could go on PS3 and buy like freaking Resident Evil the remake, our HD remaster remake, and I could play that when I'm offline, and if I go to a PS4 and I play that, and I have to be connected to the internet to play that game, which is not no multiplayer. It, there's a problem with it. You know what I'm gonna go to? I'm gonna go to my PS3 because it's unbelievable that I have to be connected to the internet to play a freaking game. That's offline, one player only. Seriously. I got. I mean, if I don't even person that sees this issue, seriously, I, I, this is a big problem for me personally because my my internet is no bad internet, but it acts up every once in a while. Like every once in a while, it would act up, like or like be laggy, or just like some server like some issues for some reason. I don't know, but. It's unacceptable that the fact that I have to be connected to the freaking internet to play a freaking game that is offline. It, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I, at this point, after this, I don't even want to buy digital games anymore, seriously. I don't even want to go for digital because of the fact that I have to be connected to the internet. I, I, seriously, like Resident Evil Revelation 2. I was like, okay, maybe I'll buy that online. I'll buy it on PSN, you know? But then after this, I'm like, what if I'm stuck with no internet? I can't play my freaking game. I can't play my game. I can't play it, seriously. How are you gonna... I don't know what to say about that. I mean, if I'm stuck offline in a game that I have to be connected to digital, there's a problem there. I mean, you don't do that with your freaking games on disc. You don't do that like when I put my Destiny disc in the game. And it's off, like, like even within game, right? It's off offline only. No multiplayer. No coming out of that bullshit. No online features except DLC. It's not like I have to be connected to the freaking internet to play the game. No, I could be offline and play it. But for freaking downloadable titles, which is like five gigabytes each or maybe less, I have to be connected to the internet just to play what that first game which is stupid this is a, a really stupid batter this is a stupid practice I really don't like it I don't respect it I don't I don't really like it at all I don't know who's to blame here uh, but it's mostly Sony because of the fact that they own so PlayStation Network and this may be on Microsoft's hands as well if this is for Xbox One as well because if people on Xbox One side have the same problems this is a horrible future for next generation consoles in my first opinion because of the fact that we don't really own our games no we don't we're freaking renting the games that we bought online if we digitally downloaded a full title like i don't know people are digitally buy like jeez um destiny or freaking watchdogs or assassin's creed or all kind of titles like people are digitally pre-ordering games like of, like for example, my brother had a PS4, right? He wanted to go to state college with it, and his college uh, Wi-Fi up there is not the best. And he wanted to digitally download Assassin's Creed Unity, Far Cry 4, and Dragon Age Inquisition. If you were to download those three games, and then went upstate, he would not be able to play that because he would need Wi-Fi just to connect to the freaking servers to say, "Oh, we are allowing you to play." I if someone bought the game. If someone bought the game from the store, then it's theirs to own. 
Did you learn your lesson from like the PS3 and Xbox 360? Where if I freaking downloaded a game or turned off my Wi-Fi, I can still play my game on PS3. But now, the next generation, I can't play my game if it goes off if my Wi-Fi service turns off. If PlayStation goes out of maintenance when I play Game of Thrones or Tales of the Borderlands, I can't freaking play it. Because of the fact that, oh, oh, well, we don't want to deal with, like, hackers stealing our games and all. Shut up. You know that you could allow your your audience to play these games offline. You know you could. You want to know why? Because you did it with the PS3. If you could do it with the PS3 and 360 last year, this is most Sony and Microsoft. If you could do it with those things. So why can't you do it with these consoles? Huh? Imagine what we get if like Xbox 720 or Xbox 2 or PS5. Are we even gonna like are, is this gonna happen again? Is like are we still gonna have these issues of the fact that we don't own our game still? Digitally? If we digitally buy a game, we don't own it. We're basically renting digital games these days. And that's a horrible future for me personally. Because I don't like to play online all the time. I'm sorry about it. I don't like playing online all the time. My personal thing, I'm not the biggest online fanboy of all time. I like to play online at certain moments for certain games for the right timing. And like, if I want to play Destiny Online once in a while, then I'll play Destiny Online once in a while. But if I don't want to, I don't want to. You can't just force, like, your audience, your customers, to just say, okay, you're, you're going to have to play online because we said so. That's how we want it. You can't play, because if you don't have online, you don't have a license to play your offline titles. Like Game of Thrones, downloadable. Griffin Tango, downloadable. Resident Evil Legends 2, downloadable. Or Resident Evil HD, downloadable. You don't have any license for that. Anyway, bottom of the line, guys, is basically this problem has got to stop. Alright, guys, that's it for Levi Club 1987. Hope you guys like this video. Comment below, share it. Do you have what you have to do to it? And please. Thank you. See you guys next time. All right. Bye bye. See you later on our next episode of the Michael Eleven or Eighty Seven reviews are coming soon. Don't worry about that.